Modern debates about presidential power are often marked by partisanship and uh, the claim that one party is uniquely uh, guilty of violating the separation of powers. I think the better way to think about it is to adopt a neutral principle about what the scope of executive power is and then apply that consistently. Obviously, one neutral principle is the Founder's Constitution. To adopt the perspective and the conception of executive power and legislative power and judicial power that the Founders adopted in the Constitution and then use that to rigorously uh, evaluate what's going on in the modern era. Constitutional uh, discussions are never going to be totally divorced from partisanship, but if you have a fixed standard by which you can decide whether or not uh, the president has violated uh, his constitutional uh, duties or usurped powers, it, it becomes a little bit easier to have a, a meaningful and coherent conversation about whether the president has overstepped his authority. The Constitution, the Constitution grants the president various powers, and there's, an, there's a meaning and understanding attached to them that's uh, historically grounded. And if we use that as a frame of reference, then we can say whether you know, President A or President B is, is violating the Constitution and not have it degenerate into a, uh, a partisan exercise where one party is uh, claiming that the president has done nothing wrong and the other party is claiming the president has done something you know, terribly wrong. You could obviously use a different measurement, measuring stick for whether the president has acted unconstitutionally, but the, you know, the original constitution is a pretty good measuring stick. We all, at some level, uh, uh, venerate the constitution, and I think that's a better measuring stick than, say, looking at practice or other possible uh, means of deciding whether the president has gone too far. Practice is notoriously difficult to to understand and, and, and sift through, right? You have to decide which practices are relevant, how many have occurred, um, are, you know, are they really the same or are they different from each other? And that, I think, generates a lot of uncertainty and lets partisanship creep back in.